So that's my story, sad but true. Should I give you the serious version of my story? Yes. yes. All right. Well, I started to do uh, voices and accents compulsively uh, as a child, you know. Some kids like to draw pictures, some kids like to play hockey. I like to play hockey too, but I also, anytime I heard an interesting voice or an accent on the radio, I would try to reproduce it uh, almost compulsively. And then at a certain point, uh, it's a long involved story, but I, I became fascinated by radio, in particular disc jockeys and the things that they did. And I, uh, like Scott, I was the guy who got kicked out of class for doing duck voices during algebra class and was <laughs> told there's no future in that, you, you know. And uh, so uh, here I was on the radio and I would do these uh, various voices periodically and program directors would call me and go, <laughs> like, you know, I, I just, I love it when you, those little voices you do, they're, they're, they're really funny, don't, don't, don't do them anymore. And uh, I, I vastly unappreciated in the radio business and beginning to develop this curiosity, who are, as Seinfeld would say, these people who voice these cartoon shows? Who are these people who narrate documentaries, who voice commercials, who do radio and television announcers in movies and television shows? And I had a working theory that they were on-camera people who just sort of did this on the side for a couple of extra bucks, which was probably true in some cases. But one glorious day, uh, I'm in the parking lot of KCBQ Radio in San Diego talking to a record promoter named Tony Richland, and he happened to mention a guy named Danny Dark who was now getting very rich doing ding, voiceovers, or, 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 or. I said, what did you just say? He said, voiceovers. I said, what? hoping against hope. What is voiceovers? He says, oh, you know, commercials, cartoons, promos, voiceovers. I said, you mean you could make a living doing that? He said, make a living? Danny Dark lives in a mansion in Beverly Hills. Are you, you, know, are you out of your mind? And that was the beginning for me. It took me 10 years to get off my butt and do anything about it, but I went to Los Angeles, did the workshops, uh, trudged around, submitted to agents, was told to forget it. Uh, resubmitted to agents and finally one agent who uh, later was institutionalized say yeah come on in I'll sign you and that was the beginning for me it's amazing how often mental health issues come up in these discussions <laughs> we get to take the voices on the inside and put them on the outside